I'm sorry. Can you say squash god s? Good morning, YouTube. Um, <coughs> so I have strep throat, so excuse my voice today. I need to go grocery shopping for fruit because I'm scared of getting scurvy. And I thought that it would be a good day to also shop for one of the segments I've really wanted to do called Cooking with Idiot. So I thought I would try to follow a super complicated recipe today um, and try to make something and we'll just see what happens. So. Let's go to the grocery store. Okay, so we have arrived at Walmart. I was Googling recipes, I was trying to think of what to make. I really wanted to try making a pasta salad because I am a pasta salad. I love pasta salad. So I thought that is what I'm going to try to make today. This pasta salad I found is like super gourmet and looks really complicated. So that's exciting. Holy, she's struggling with that cart. A uh, guy's just watching her struggle. Help her, boy. Where's your chivalry, uh, guy? Got my reusable grocery bag somewhere. Got my cold brew. And I am ready to grocery shop for some gourmet ass pasta and shit. So. Oh my god, you guys. I was just going over the ingredients that I need. And I need two pounds of various squashes. Like zucchini, regular, spaghetti. I think there's like a lot of squash. I don't know. Also, everyone, I'm still pretty self conscious about video videoing myself in public. I'm shameless about almost anything, but like that, I like get like nervous. I'm probably just gonna like really keep to myself like this. So, can you say Because you can still tell that I'm filming myself. Whatever is fine. Okay, I'll see you in there. You know I won't do that later. So, let me just hop right on that. And I'll see you soon. Hello, I am back once again. Hi guys. So, um, I'm just going to come in here for a little moment. I was just editing and I realized I cut off half of my head because I'm stupid for like a lot of the video and I'm so sorry. I have all of my ingredients here, I think. Um, I realized that the pasta is called butternut squash and basil pasta. The recipe is by Chris Morocco on Epicurious, if you were. And I realized I forgot to buy basil. Just pretend that I didn't mess up. They didn't have the big round pasta noodles, so I just bought Gotai pasta because it's the most fun. They were restocking the spices shelves, so I'm a chicken and I don't like, you know, being like, hey, excuse me, Aleppo pepper. I don't even know what Aleppo pepper is, so. When I googled it, it was like pepper, like spicy pepper, so we're just going to use chili flakes. Ah! Close enough. 
And then I also did my kosher salt, so we're just gonna use it. And then yes, okay, so we have all our ingredients. We have our assortment of summer squashes. I don't know if this is two pounds. I don't really care. This is all I felt like buying. We have our zucchinis that we also need. We have our pasta. We have our improvised Aleppo pepper and kosher salt. We have mushrooms this, and green onions. These both weren't on the ingredients list, but I love them both. And I forgot to buy basil, so it's a good thing I love these. I don't need a couple of fresh green lemon juice, so... Then we have our eight cloves of garlic ready to chop. So let's just get down to business. So the first step is to heat oil. Oh, I need oil. Um, heat oil in a large skillet over medium. Cook garlic, stirring occasionally until very lightly brown around the edges, about four minutes. Add squash, season with salt. Cook, tossing occasionally until squash begins to break down and gets jammy. They may start to stick to the skillet a bit, which means that you are there. 12 to 15 minutes, tossing the teaspoon of Aleppo-style pepper or crushed in place. Meanwhile, cook pasta in a large pot of boiling water, stirring occasionally until very al dente. Transfer pasta to the skillet using a slotted spoon or spider. Add a half cup of pasta cooking liquid. What? What's pasta cooking liquid? What? Add a half cup. Transfer pasta to a skillet using a slotted spoon or spider and add a half cup pasta cooking liquid. So like, the water? It must mean the water that I just boiled in. Cook pasta, again, adding two ounces of parmesan in stages along with more pasta cooking liquid until sauce coats pasta and pasta is al dente. Toss in lemon juice and most of the basil that you don't have, so instead, toss in fresh green onions. Let's get on the road here. So it says like they want eight garlic cloves. Like, I actually have never severely cut myself in the kitchen. Wood. That really shocks me that I haven't. Because, like, I'm the clumsiest. Fun fact! Garlics kind of remind me of, like, alfalfa from Little Rascals. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wanna see some serious food porn? wash mushrooms? Is that like a thing that people do? Do they wash their mushrooms? Oh. We're gonna do our zucchinis. Um, it said quarter lengthwise sliced. Okay, so then be quarter lengthwise. So like lengthwise in quarters. So like that. And like that, and then sliced like, oh, like, like that. If you're not impressed, you're lying. It's just, oh, it went everywhere. It went everywhere. Why can't I just be smooth like the BuzzFeed people? Okay, let's, how much lemon juice? One tablespoon. She hollow. Okay. How do you peel a squash? How do you peel a squash? How to cut a butter nut squash. Slice off the stem and bottom ends of the squash so the both sides are flat. Slice the squash in half. Okay, so you do peel it. So we're gonna cut it here. <sighs> okay. Then you <sighs> and a half because I know there's seeds in it. Ew! It's like a pumpkin. Oh my god! It smells like a pumpkin. <gasps> 
Okay, um. How do I use this end? Do I like got it like this? Okay, it's all like. Let's spill it. So I'm just like the inside. Oh, like it's none of it is hitting the garbage can. It's hitting everywhere but the garbage can. too much effort for a pasta salad. This is the most effort I've ever gone through to make anything in my entire life. Everybody in the bowl. And I only bought one acorn squash. How to cut an acorn squash. Squash. Slice. Squash. did not come out unscathed. <sighs> Damn it. I just have to be more careful while I try to Oh, I'm sorry. Can you say squash? God. This. Look at this shit. Wow. I chopped these squashes and these zooks. I'd just like to thank God. I'd like to thank my trusty knife, even though it stabbed me in the back of the finger once. You know, I'd like to thank Band-Aid, my mom, my dad. Then I just need to cut up my green onions and then like, I'm set. But now that we've taken 18 years to cut our vegetables, this is literally taking me an hour, um, we actually get to start cooking. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oil, we need to look at 
cup of oil. Oh, and we need to mince the garlic cloves. So I have a handy dandy little mincer. Yeah. Ready? begins to break down and gets jammed. So we're just gonna wanna cook a little longer, I guess. Wow, what a professional I am. I don't know when to add the mushrooms. I'm just adding those in myself. I feel like the squash has to like cook first. Or the mushrooms can maybe like cook with the oil and the garlic. Where did the mushrooms throw everything off? Should I cook them separate? Maybe I'll cook them separate. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna put the mushrooms in there and cook them separate. I guess we'll just put some oil in the pan too. And then maybe we can maybe like throw a little dollop in there for the mushrooms. And I okay, I think this is like browned enough. So I'm going to add the squash. Seasoning with salt, but not kosher salt, just table salt. And I'm gonna add my mushrooms on this side. So far, we're not doing too bad, I think. Chef like, do you see that? This is really gonna take some time. Okay, I'm gonna let you go because this has to cook for 12 to 15 minutes. All right. Welcome back. Jammy, I guess. I don't know. Like, kinda. I guess jammy makes sense. It says when it starts to stick to the pan, but this pan is like hella non stick. So, toss in one teaspoon of Aleppo style pepper, or as I call it, our improvised chili flakes. I'm not measuring. I'm just gonna. That looks like a teaspoon. And then, we're gonna transfer pasta to skillet using. Okay, put the pasta. In the skillet. Okay. And then add the pasta cooking liquid. That kind of did make it easier to stir. Okay. Then what? Then we're gonna. Get what we're going for here. 
Uh-oh, a lot of mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's not. See how cute and how lovely. Put in lemon juice. Wow. Okay, so this is the finished product of the butternut squash basil, but it's green onions pasta. the moment of truth we are tasting our creation so let's get a good bite let's get a noodle let's get a squash let's get a green onion let's get a, a shroom let's pasta salad but it's more of a pasta because it's hot it looks very unappetizing <laughs> let me give you a little rundown of the flavors okay so we're tasting garlic we're tasting the jamminess of the squash and the pasta taste the mushroom i'd say the main thing you taste is the squash and the garlic i don't hate it all in all Raise your glasses. Cheers. Thank you for coming to Cooking with Idiots. Hit me up if you want some of this pasta because I literally have 18 pounds of it. I made so much and I'm alone. Who's gonna eat this? I guess I'm gonna eat it all. Thanks for coming to the first episode of Cooking with Idiot. Um, I hope you had a good time. And now I have a lot of sustenance for the next couple of days. We learned a lot of things. We learned how to cut a squash. We learned how to gut a squash. We learned that we should probably cut the recipe into a quarter when it says serves four. Wow, this was fun. How am I going to eat this all?